What's going on guys? I just wanted to talk about having self accountability and how it's it's really so important as you know we try to build ourselves, improve ourselves in each aspect, whatever that may be. Um, just how being accountable to yourself is pretty much the building block, I, I would say. Like me making this video right now is pretty much a form of self accountability because it's making me look back at all the things that I told myself I would do, where I would be, where I want to be in a given time frame and seeing these things that I haven't done that I said I was going to do and it's making me think about why and what are the processes, what are the habits, the systems that I've built these negative things that's that's causing me to not be where I want to be you know there just comes a time where you have to have a conversation with yourself and you have to go through each and every single thing that you told yourself to do and you know if you're not there like you have to ask yourself why why am I not where I want to be you got to be real with yourself that's what self accountability is and you know I'm learning more and more like being real with yourself is so so important so important you also gotta you know figure out why you're you're slacking you know why hasn't these things happened yet as i said before the, the processes the bad habits <clears throat> the cycles that we we get into we really have to look look at those things find find the the start point and really analyze and, and, and figure out how to break these things and change these bad habits into good habits. Um, I recently read Atomic Habits and like a big thing is figuring out what your bad habits are and switching those into positive habits. So like you, the, the habit is there. All you have to do is switch it out with a good habit and make a, a better system than the one that you, you're, you are now. But before you do that, you have to figure out the root cause, right? Whether it's if we, you know, procrastinate, you know, we waste time, we doubt ourselves, we tell ourselves we can't do a certain thing. We have to figure out the basis. We need to understand that when you set out to do something, when you tell yourself you're going to do something, and when you want to actually go do that thing, and then you get that thought of, man, I don't want to do this, or I can't do this. It's not really you. That's not you. That's not your feeling. That's your flesh. And, you know, the Bible says the flesh is weak. But the moment we fight against that weakness we fight against the flesh and we even start the process of doing said thing that we want to do we it, it, it's kind of like a a snap where it's like once you get the ball rolling you notice you know i actually do want to do this but a lot of the times you know when you're doing something good for yourself you're just not gonna want to like do it whatever whatever that is i don't know but man the you really have to fight against the flesh. That's really a big thing. A lot of times you feel like you don't want to do something, but it's not you. You just got to say, hey, I told myself I'm going to do this. I need to do it. It doesn't matter how I feel. It doesn't matter if I'm how tired I am. It doesn't matter I didn't get that much sleep. Like, we, you have to fight against these underlying small little issues listen that's one thing i am i'm dealing with right now is like my sleep had my sleep sleep schedule has been kind of like messed up for the last couple months and it's it has been like 
an excuse for me to put work off, like work that I know I need to get done to get where I want to be. And sometimes you just have to, like, you have to suffer sometimes. Re- like, if you really want something, you have to suffer. And that's that's just a part of life. You're not going to get to where you want to be if you don't struggle a bit. You know what I mean? Like, there's a saying, there's no success without the struggle, right? There's no success without failing first. Because when you fail, you learn what not to do. And just going back to self-accountability, when you fail, take that failure as, you know, yeah, it is a learning experience. I, uh, I think it's David Goggins that says he has, you know, the after-action r- reports when he, he, he does certain things. He goes back, he has a time and he goes back and he just goes over all the things that happened to see where he is now whether good or bad and I feel like it's very important when you do fail to have that sort of after action report that's being a part of being accountable to yourself a lot of people always talk about building the 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 discipline muscle right because discipline it's a skill and you could you you build it but you go you could also lose it right if you don't constantly build it up it's the same thing with excuse me it's the same thing with being accountable to yourself you have to build that accountability muscle you must overcome weakness we have to build that accountability muscle one way we can do that is by immediately when we realize we're falling into an old system or an old habit and we slack off on things that we said we were going to do it's i feel like it's very important to immediately realize what's going on and taking action and trying to understand why we just did what we did and then doing what we said we're going to do right it's the we have to build that system up of doing it immediately when you catch yourself starting that bad habit again say hey Chris you remember you said you were going to do this right because this starts a, ch- a chain reaction so don't do this go do what you said you are going to do that's building that accountability muscle because <clears throat> if we put things off and you know we say I'll do it tomorrow. Like I know I told myself I was gonna do it today. I know I said, you know, I'm gonna be <clears throat> I'm gonna be here by this time and this time comes. And it's it's not you're not where you not where you said you're gonna be. Right? You gotta be like have that internal conversation with yourself. Like what's going on? Why am I not what well, what will happen? You know, like I realize for me getting into these cycles like I would when the year started start off strong two three weeks goes by I realize that I start going down a bit in terms of you know the dedication having the discipline doing the daily things that I said I'm going to do ticking off the check marks and I I sort of make it okay I I twist the reasons of why I'm not doing what I know I should be doing. And then it just so happens that I snap out of it. I'm like, Chris, come on. You said you're going to do this, but don't you see you're slacking? And then a cycle starts. And then I'm up for a couple weeks, slowly starts to go back down. But I think, I think. The amount of times this cycle happens, as long as you don't stop, as long as you don't give up, as long as you get back up and you keep on trying, the more and more you get up, the longer and the better these positive cycles will be, and it will just turn into one straight path of 
grind of being on your purpose of doing the things you said you want to do yes there will be down times there will be low times but you're not going to completely fall off right and having that accountability to yourself saying you know I really want this I said I was going to do this getting back up that's building that muscle another big part of being accountable accountable to yourself is what is what is your word to other people right if you can't keep your own words to yourself like how am i gonna try to be here and tell you guys you know what's best or what i think you guys should be doing you know asking you why you're not here there and there when you said you're gonna be here there and there if i'm not doing it to myself so what is our word to others if it doesn't even mean anything to us I really think about that like you make a promise to yourself and you don't you don't keep that promise I mean, why why would anybody want you to make a promise to them because then you're not gonna you're not gonna keep that so a big part of being accountable is being true to your word you know, as I say, as men, like we have to be true to our word. I know, like, there's females that watch this as well. Same thing with you guys. You know, you have to be accountable with yourself. You have to be true to your word, because our word is is all we really have, all right? <clears throat> being accountable is being accountable to yourself. Is just staying true to yourself, staying true to who you are, staying true to that person, that better person that you strive to be. And I just want you guys to know that baby steps, they count. Even if you can't see them, they count. Don't give up. Keep on getting up. Keep on trying. Be accountable to yourself. Be truthful to yourself. Be truthful to yourself. It's a big thing, being truthful to yourself. Don't lie to yourself. Be truthful to yourself. And watch how being accountable really helps with your your life in the your relationships in every aspect of your life. I I would say it's the building block and it's one of the most important things you can do. So I just wanna leave you guys with that. Um yeah, I hope you I hope this I hope you guys could take something from this and I'm definitely going to be working on being way more accountable with myself because I just, I just have to. I just need to. I need to. Future, future Chris, future you will say thank you. Yeah.